with Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. This is a uh, different piece that we just built for uh, some customers of ours in Australia, down in Perth, uh, Jamie and Jeff Welch. And uh, this is for their jet boat. Here in a second, uh, in fact right now, I'm going to show you a little clip of uh, the jet boat and uh, with voiceover on it. And uh, you'll see this thing is just insanely wicked cool. custom built this deal now this is it's a twin turbo LS yeah but here's the deal this is packaged and we did this all here this is packaged to fit inside their boat with everything being as low a center of gravity as possible center of the chargers center of the motor as close as possible just forward facing slightly um, these are 75 millimeter uh, bullseye Steve Morris uh, billet wheels. And of course you can see our intake manifold. Uh, this is 427 cubic inches, twin 75s. Runs on methanol and we're using a single 575 pound per hour injector. Here's the deal, we're not trying to make maximum horsepower. That's not the point. What this needs to do is it needs to be get on boost instantaneously, it needs to stay on boost instant, and it needs to recover uh, because they're in and out of the throttle, so they can't have any lag in this. Uh, something you'll see that we have on here also is twin drive by wire throttle bodies on our billet ram's horn uh, uh, elbow. Uh, something different for us too is uh, this is Motec. Motec 150. Uh, EGT with the E8 or E888 uh, exhaust and uh, dual lamb with the wide bands, normal stuff there. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the tuning that goes on with all that. Um, but like I said, what we're trying to do is they need they have an X horsepower that they want to generate at 6,500 RPM and it needs to be able to stay there uh, in out of the throttle, not drop out of boost, uh, and it needs to last. Now we've got uh, almost 30 hits on this thing. Uh, so far, uh, just pretty much just wearing it out, trying to beat on it a little bit here to make sure everything's all right, work on the tune, get the boost controller working well. And uh, when I go out here, I'll show you how quick, how fast this thing comes up on boost, goes right back down the dead idle, then it comes right back up. Uh, and it, uh, I need to work on the AE fuel just a little bit with the acceleration fuel, but uh, even with a little bit of a hiccup, you can hear this thing uh, just take right off. Uh, very cool. Uh, very happy with this piece. Of course, it's all our deal. Dart LS Next Block, uh, all, par, all Pro 12.4 cylinder head, um, our custom piston and ring package. Now, this motor actually even has a, a, a titanium connecting rod in it, which is uh, from Crower, which is, uh, they're fantastic. And, uh, uh, of course, our solid roller camshaft, not made to make uh, 25 plus 100 horsepower, but made to make uh, the 16 ish 100 horsepower, what they want at that horsepower, or I'm sorry, at that RPM level. So, uh, very good. Uh, real happy with this whole deal. You can see the uh, our billet covers on here, uh, their billet intake manifold with their screw in uh, injectors. So, uh, what we call them our no leak injector. Uh, very nice, liking those a lot. And something you can see about this, about this edition of our billet intake manifold is. This is one piece. This is not bolt together billet pieces. This is one piece, flange to runner to uh, plenum area, only the top bolts on. So uh, rock solid, not going anywhere, never gonna have a failure uh, with something like this being uh, one piece. Uh, well, anything can fail, but uh, within reason, but this is a very, very nice uh, intake manifold design that we've been working on and uh, the machine working on involved in doing a one piece billet is uh, is quite a bit. But anyways, um, we'll go out and we'll make a pull on this thing um, and show you exactly what uh, this kind of thing can do. Okay, like I said, this is purpose built. 
to specifically spool up quick, always stay filled up on boost. So I'm gonna show you how quick this jumps up on boost. It's really pretty cool. That's pretty quick, pretty cool. It's got a little lean sneeze right there we'll take care of in the AE fuel, but that's right off of dead idle, going back to uh, wide open throttle, going back to dead idle. That's pretty cool. And now we'll do a regular pull. Let's uh, take a look at the numbers here. All right, like I said, purpose-built engine, so uh, this is really what we're limiting it to because we're really only interested what this thing is making right here, 65, 6600, right in that range. And uh, uh, this is at 18 psi of boost, um, and you can hear how quick it comes up to do it. I'll go over and look at the data log and show you that kind of stuff too. But uh, 1600 or 1600 horsepower, 1617 to 6700, and it's still climbing. Uh, we've run more boost in it. It will make over 2,000 horsepower. It's not a big deal, but that's not what they're interested in for the boat. Um, and uh, what and it does it at higher RPM clearly, as you can see, the thing's still uh, climbing up there. But uh, anyways, this is exactly what they were looking for, what they wanted for that application. But uh, 1337 foot-pounds of torque. So this whole thing just operates right here. Bump, 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 bump. That's how it operates in the jet boat. And uh, I think this thing's gonna be really super cool for him. We have tested with it. Yeah, it makes more boost. It'll make a lot more horsepower, uh, but not for the exact application of what we're trying to do with it. So anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.